Hello, this is Petra O'Neill and welcome to Wellness Wednesday, July 13th, 2022, and it's a full moon in Capricorn. And wow, what a powerful moon this is. I love to do meditation with some sort of theme anyway. So with this full moon, we can really get into some hard to reach places, shall we say, that we don't generally give ourselves that opportunity to explore. So journaling is a really great tool to use. If you want to, you certainly can. You can get some paper and a pencil and uh, write it down, or you can just meditate today as we usually do and just find a comfortable place that you can settle into and just let this energy, this, this time, just guide us into what works for you, releasing what you need for this full moon. So let's get comfortable. And I will, I will share with you some tidbits as we go along the way. So either sitting straight, nice and long spine, cross-legged or feet on the floor to ground you, or lay down in Shavasana. And just take a moment to think about your breath, bringing yourself present to the body and the breath. And as you do, perhaps increase that breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth and cleansing breath, just getting deep into the body. Now there's one thing about this full moon and we do talk about, or it discusses releasing things that are toxic in your life. So if you need to clean the air, detox and clean relationships, maybe a work situation or even just your home. So that cleansing breath is your first invitation to dropping in and releasing stress in the body through the, through the breath. So, And as we do that, just take this moment to drop into your heart space. So we'll do a little forgiveness work. We'll do a little gratitude practice. So drop into your heart space and just see where you're at today. Just check in, not with any judgment, just noticing where you are. Notice how that feels when you actually bring your attention around to the heart space. This, this super full moon in Capricorn is a little tricky and it's got some, it's got some characteristics that can be um, not bad, but it certainly can be um, a lot to handle. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, it, it's, it's, I'm not surprised because this is, the message here is to release trying to control everything and everyone. So that's, that's big, you know? It's finding that balance between the demands of work and home. Um, it's a, it talks about ambition to the point of being ruthless, being obsessed with work at, to a detriment of your personal life, not being um, maybe being a little too hard-headed with others, yourself, and to neglect the heart. So maybe you've allowed your head to overrule your heart space. Um, this moon talks about planning things and how that will help you to sort things out. So similar sometimes to the new moon, right? But um, this, this is a good time. The good news is that this detoxifying or releasing or cutting out unhealthy foods or drinks or whatever, um, can really realign. And you know, this, this full moon energy lasts for three days. So, um, it is certainly a time to investigate your life a little bit more if you want to. <laughs> so here's some thoughts 
when we drop into the breath and questions to ask during the full moon. Okay. Are there any relationships or situations that I'm clinging on to for all the wrong reasons? Where in my life is pride holding me back? Where in my life do I need to transform? And what is the first step? So these are the things that you journal or you just let that pass through you. As you breathe, inhaling and exhaling, I will take you through a little forgiveness meditation. Inhaling and exhaling, dropping into, into the breath. Releasing any stress or worries as you breathe. Now think of a habit or thought pattern or an idea or anything that's, that's upset you that you want to release. And it can be more than one. And you certainly can write this down or you can just bring it to your mind. You can also think of anyone who's upset you. Close your eyes and visualize this, this person or this situation, this upset in a pink bubble. Pink is the color of love and this bubble to see them smiling at you and you are creating this good feeling between the two of you. Say silently or out loud, I forgive you. And then let them float off in the bubble. And then take your focus to your heart space. Under this glorious full moon, I forgive everything, everyone, every experience, every memory of the past, present, that needs forgiveness. I forgive positively everyone, and I also forgive myself for past mistakes. The universe is love, and I am forgiven and governed by love alone. Love is now adjusting to my life. Realizing this, I abide in peace. I bring love and healing to all my thoughts, beliefs, and relationships. I learn my lessons and move on. I call on my soul fragments to be cleansed by the full moon, and I call on them to rejoin me. I send love to myself and everyone I know, and everyone who knows me in all directions in time. Under this glorious full moon, I am healed. My life is healed, and so it is, so be it. Now bringing your awareness to your heart space again, through the breath, bringing the gratitude in. So what you're grateful for today, maybe a couple of things, people, places, situation, and just feel that energy. Feel that beautiful energy of gratitude sinking into, releasing through all of that forgiveness, replacing it with gratitude. Releasing control and trust the universe during this attuning to the moon. Everything is always working out in my favor. Finding the balance between facing reality and being kind to yourself and others during this time. If you're interested in more, I am posting a yoga astrology on my website. And as always, it's been my pleasure to be with you here this week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Stay in Shavasa, 
Shavasana or meditation and enjoy the full moon, my friends. Be well. Thank you. Peace. Shante, Shante.